Nice how loud that should be. Mm-hmm. Not fucking ten minutes late and you're still sort of is it coming? Is it not? Mm-hmm. Like on YouTube, where you were you? Uh, the other day I lost patience and I just like manually done it. Yeah. Three D is that you can have effects in my game, but it doesn't work at the moment. Also, I forgot. You're not muted. Hello and welcome everyone, my name is Sebastian and I am the Novice Prospect. Welcome back to D-Ray Valley, it is Thursday, uh, I fancy a bit of a chill stream and I could not bring myself to do Alien Isolation. So, hey Bockley, good seeing you. Um, yeah, so we are doing just a chill, another couple of runs. Uh, most importantly I want money, now you know because D6 are bust. 
<laughs> and yeah, and maybe uh, some other licenses. Also, we have ow, what why LH76? Is that a lord that we damaged? I, I feel like it is. I feel like it's not a locomotive. So we're gonna have to just bite the bullet and pay that. Where's my my monies? So fees. Um, yeah, we're just gonna do the thing that that. Okay, and ow. That that was my fault. That one. Because I, I slammed sort of into that load last time when we picked it up. And it even tells you on the map where the loads are. No, that's just... what What is this? Oh, this is a weather forecast. Ah. I... So this is the weather forecast. What is this? Is this just different <coughs> loads and what you can get and where it goes? I think so. I get that feeling, right? It's sort of different goods going to different places. And Harbour and Town obviously being the one that has a lot. But yes, the weather does not look too promising right now, apparently. But we don't really care. We drive in any weather. Um, we have DH4s. Now, I do not know where I left my locomotive. Let me check in on that. Is it just a one? Is it two? I, I don't know anything. It looks like two possibly. Okay. Fully repaired, I assume? Yes. Good. Uh, if the music is getting a little bit on the nerves, let me know and I can turn it off, right? There is snow in this, I think. I, I, I believe there is. I just haven't seen it yet. But it could be due to which areas you need to be in. I, I don't know. Um, it could be that they've not implemented it yet. I, I, I can't remember if it was a mod I've seen it with or not. You know, it's one of those ones. Um, ow, 700 tons. I mean, these are quite worthwhile jobs for 27k, right? I mean, how much are you? 4k, yeah, not even worth the consideration. So we're going to pick up one of these. Uh, gonna pick up the longer one, I think. Yes, and you were coming from B6 outgoing to Harbour Town. Okay. <clears throat> sweet, sweet, sweet. I just felt like there could be, there was a few times where the game was a little bit too quiet because I'm thinking and doing things, so, you know. So this is our load here, okay, cool. And that's actually perfect because you have just realized that you can load the map. Thank you. So the map app is already loaded and then basically just need this one, right? Yes, and then let's, let's go and pick up the locomotive. And then now I need to think about the store because I want to pull obviously into a different direction. So, we're going to need both for this. I know that much. Like 700 tons, that's a, that's a big ask. And I will just go and... Do like so. Forwards, backwards, all that good stuff. Release the brakes. Also, every time you do maintenance, you need to make sure that you release your hand brakes. Okay, this is perfect. And for now, we are going a little bit forwards. Okay. 
So the idea is that we're going to pull onto that table, turn the whole thing around, and then pull out again. Right, if I pull out this way, we're actually going to be facing away from harbor and town. Am I, am I, am I still thinking this is correct? Yeah, because, yeah, we were going down the way. Okay, I was just making sure I had that right in my head. Okay, and then can pass the switch. Like so, and reverse. Okay, this is perfect, but... Oh. Right, we're coasting, let go of that, and let me just, hopefully, manually break this right into place. Because <clears throat> I don't know if I can fit them both. I think I can. I think we've done it before. That makes me always a little bit nervous. Do it with anything than less... Uh, with anything than 2D2s, because they're so small. Alright. This looks fine, though. Well, and, 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 and too much, too much, I think. Sheesh. Yeah, nope. That's, that's not going to work. Um... Which is fine. We're gonna just do a thing where we're gonna release that brake very carefully. We are pointed forwards and just give it a one, one little. Yeah, that's perfect. Right there. Stop. Okay, that was a little bit scary. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Oh, she barely fits. With both of them. Okay, this is perfect. And then we are actually reversing now, I think. Yes, yes, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, I am actually happy now. How fast are we going? Yeah, maybe even set up for like minus 20. I'll do fine. <clears throat> and then we're going to do the usual. We're going to line up the locomotives. So to speak, just before we pick up the load and then... Go. <clears throat> goody, goody, goody. Yeah, this is looking absolutely fine there. I don't need to worry about anything. Yeah, Wills is still needing to learn that. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, Discord can be very overwhelming. But yeah, this is perfect. We're literally just coming right past the switch here. And click, and you know, turn it in the other direction. Also, I never checked whether we're gonna be lined through. We shall find out. <clears throat> Come on, because I don't think we are. Now we may be. Uh, 
it, yeah. <clears throat> that should be perfect. I'll actually bring that right to the 50. Because she can do that. And also, <clears throat> while I'm here, we... Ah, cool. You are already paired. Even better. Yeah, there's our drop in a minute, but I uh, that right here is all old, all that steel. I'm assuming it's steel. And I can see myself on the map, that's cool. But yeah, we're gonna go a little bit further and come to a stop. Just like, like so. And as a matter of fact, re no, um, don't reverse. We, we shall do that part ourselves. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, B6 outgoing. Perfect. Get the remote out, and we'll tell him, you know, reverse, please. Release that brake, and go. There she is. That's probably fast enough, right? Good, 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 good. Come on. Um, <clears throat> maybe a little bit fast. Yeah, much better, much better, but still. Okay, come to a come to a halt there. Just uh, okay. W wait there. I need a drop. Oh, this is by the way. This is the cryogenic oxygen weight we brought here. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm loving that. This the job here. Yes. B six outgoing, going to E nine ingoing on Harbin Town. So, you know, back to the locomotive. Da -da 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 -dim. Just jumping across here like it's Napty's business and in the most safest way I can think of. Oh, wait, break. I'm assuming you are ready. I don't even know. Yes, you are. And you are. Okay. Do the click. Do the clickety click. And we are coupled. How beautiful. We can now go enter here and put that away. And now, let us line the route. Yes, perfect, perfect, perfect. So we are literally right here. <clears throat> We're coming out. We are going left. Let me zoom out a little bit. We're just coming along. Yes. Yes. Sometimes you need to zoom in to make sure the switch is actually correct. Because it's not always quite apparent. Uh, yes, yes. Then coming down the way. And... Yes. Doing the ingoing there. And I think it was E9 in going, so which is a left here, a left there. Going straight through, actually. Is that correct? Yes. Now is E9 in going right there. That is you, 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 and then that is it. Okay. That was easy enough, right? Forwards March 50, go.
Oh, uh, also because... Uh oh, something, something is wrong. Something is definitely wrong. Something is definitely not going right here. It's complaining about brake pressure not doing things. So let's investigate. You're open. And you're open. Yeah, you're both open. Uh, did I forget this part? No. Oh. So that's interesting. It only changes the handbrake if the car that has the handbrake um, engaged is directly attached to that. Thank you, that's what I wanted. You set up the lights for me, thank you very much. Now we can go forwards march again. This should now be fine. Yes. Okay, that was a bit of a whoopsie doopsie in my fault. <laughs> No, no, no. <clears throat> no, not broken. Yeah, it's my Twitch Studio overlay. Thank you. Um, but I had a brake on. So, you know, it had something to do with brake. loving this. I'm absolutely loving this. <laughs> it's the fact that we can actually finally do loads like this. This this was pretty much unthinkable for us and with DE2s. Or at least it was an absolute pain in the guts. <laughs> but there we go, we are on our way. And we sort of know what's going on with the speed limits here anyways. <clears throat> oh, you're running a bit hot there. Well, I imagine it's a lot of steel you're moving, so it's fine. We're losing speed a little, and she is really warm. Um, <clears throat> gosh darn it. That applied brake that did not need applying. I was just trying to give him a bit of cooling down time there. Mmm. Coffee, 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 coffee. Come on, you can do it. So, just two seconds. Am I... Have I done something stupid here? No, we are at normal HD, I thought, because of DLS, uh, ah, DLSS, I maybe was on the wrong resolution. But no, it's all good. I know, I know. You're a little bit warm for your own liking. Well, tough titties, that's what I say. 
You will be glad to know that your work will be a lot easier in a second. Just get this all over there. Come on. Yeah, let her coast for a second. Give it a bit of cool down. And then <clears throat> 60. Should be doable. Right, come on. I love, love, love the just terrain here. It always looks good. And then it feels like because you're approaching at different daytimes and that, <clears throat> it always looks a little bit different. Come on, you can do 60. I know you can. I'm not even asking 80 of you, just... Come on. But yeah, but we, we, we should be fine now. Oh, thanks for the follow, Bjorn Nielsen. Yeah, it, it, it really is. Oh wait, I don't even know if there's requirements I don't even have yet. <laughs> have yet. <laughs> uh, thank you, I'm doing fine. Um, <clears throat> but let's just say we've had a heck of a time already getting to the DH Force. And, you know, yeah, I, I hmm, how, how do I say it? There's a reason. Um, but yeah, basically doing a run right now into Harbant Town with about 700 tons of steel. So there's our actual oh, job sheet. Yeah, pretty much. <coughs> oh, 800 tons actually. I may as well have just called it 800 tons, right? Uh, we're moving 250 meters <laughs> of train, and I've chosen to just do it with two DH4s. Ah, oh, it's all good, man. Don't worry about it. But yeah, we, we have a bit of train to contend with. And I didn't see any speed limits. Okay, 70. Thank goodness. <laughs> I was just waiting for my next spinning here. Um, but yeah, maybe 70. Maybe we can do it. Yeah, that's still good. And just to get an idea, we're just about down here. You know, sort of, I would say maybe halfway to Harbant Town. But I'm using a lot of mods. Well, not a lot, but a few mods. <clears throat> and one of them being Remote Dispatch, which means I can just sort of line my whole trip in from start to finish. Come on. I'm sure she's gonna drop down very soon, at like 60 at least and then 40, but we'll see.
uh, yeah, it's a it's useful, and as I keep saying, actually in my streams, I actually think it's something they should bring into Derail Valley for the purpose of multiplayer. Like you would have multiplayer basically built in. So I think we can just come round here at a sixty. Yeah, this should be fine. And then plus there's for me also this element where I feel like remote dispatch is actually more realistic in a lot of ways in how you would probably do this. At least in the European space. Well, I know that much. Um. Oh, here's my 40. Here's, here's, here's my big... Please, please, dear Briggs. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Please. Oh, that would be, yeah. You know, that's obviously sort of the next one. Bringing in uh, semaphores, as they are, I think, called. Um, oh, thank goodness we've managed to get the brakes on here. <laughs> this bit always scares me because this is where I will very first time, in my very first stream, been a whole load. <laughs> and it was sort of downhill for a good couple of episodes from then. But yeah. I mean, I'm actually really loving the fact that this game, you know, on a fairly regular basis still brings good, uh, good updates. You know, not just little content updates, but, you know, meaningful stuff. I mean, look at a simulator update. It's impressive. Oh, right, okay. Right, okay. That's my mistake. I, I am not a professional in any of this, right? I dabble. So if I do get wordings wrong or, you know, just plainly use the wrong words because of ignorance, well, please correct me. I, was, I, I like to learn. I, I don't know if I can get away with that 50 here. Yeah, it should be fine. Yeah. Oh, right, 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 right. See, I'm actually used to it from... It was a city builder type kind of game. Uh, rail... Um, something railroad manager. No, railroad engineer. I, I can't mind at the moment. But I used to play that, and even though they had, you know, lighting signal, signals, they would use, they would call them semaphores. So that's obviously where I picked that up then. <clears throat> yeah, I'm coming nicely over that bridge here. All of this little run. Getting to a night time now. And there's the trees. They're always in the way. <laughs> there's certain trees I find on the map, they just shouldn't exist. Or at the very least, they should be trimmed, you know, as you would probably see again in situations. Plus the fact of the train actually going through there would also do some of the trimming, by the way. Uh, <laughs> just the force of metal scraping along would just rip off plant material. You see this actually very commonly in like um, high traffic areas of trains as well as like lorries. I'm not inclined to go the 60 here because we are pretty much right there. And this this is all just hairy turns. So I'm just going to let our coast here at that 40. And let it go along. Best way of doing it. <clears throat> just... I find the less I rush in this game, the more I make it on time, actually. Well, to a certain degree. You obviously sometimes need to make up a bit of time with speed, but... If there's a lot of speed changes, you may as well just stick to one and just let it roll. Because that way you're losing a lot of less energy as well, and 
all that good stuff. And, you know, there's Harbour and Town already. Again, it says 60 here, but right down there, it drops right back down to 40. So, there's no point in ex expending all that energy just to get up to 60. It just dropped down again. Um, I can't wait on the next update, by the way, sort of what they've announced because they're sort of getting ready for passenger traffic. You know, that's, that's going to be amazing. So, it, there's a lot of plans still, and progress is looking good. Game's looking good. And I think what I'll also like about uh, Old Future is they are reporting a lot to the community. They, they are, you know, sharing quite a lot of what they've sort of got planned for the. At least near future, you know. <coughs> Our transport fever is is another one that I've looked into, and yeah, then this TSW, the DLC simulator, as I like to call it. So I've just recently seen that TSW four, uh, the train sim world for those uninitiated, has ninety paid for DLCs associated with it. So, yeah. <laughs> so, it's a, a sigh of rejection there. <laughs> see, see, Bjana, we, we don't like to talk about TSW too much here. <laughs> I mean, I, I will say and give kudos for this, right? The level of detail in the, in the real world maps is great. Like I've drove some of those um, routes myself in real life and in the game and they look good. It's just the simulation level is so poor. It's not even fun. Well, you don't need the DLC, but if you are interested in certain localities because uh, maybe you're, you know, where you live and you want to drive those routes because why not? It's the whole point of simulation games really sometimes, right? Y you're sort of in this thing where, yeah, you are forced to buy DLC, right? And like for me, another one of those is Euro Truck Simulator where, oh yeah, I want to see the rest of Europe in ETS. Well, you're going to have to buy it. Right, and I appreciate the work that goes into photogrammetry, uh, uh, photogrammetry and all that sort of thing. You know, they're expensive things to do, but there must be, I don't know, a better way of doing this. I think I'm going to leave it at 30, by the way. We should be literally just... Hopefully there's nothing there. It looks clear. Thank goodness. And then we do our usual. We go to the... Oop. Sorry. Camera back of the train which is <laughs> still here <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah absolutely the few things that still need implemented but uh, actually come to a stop please and this time make sure the brakes are actually working, yes. Well, that, that was fun last time. I, I, I think it done. Also, wait. I like to do this. Really? Is the game completely froze? Not back. Oh, it's back. Thank goodness. Turn you off because you know saving fuel. Oh, uh, something like this would probably be helpful. <laughs> you know, put some braking on. Mm, let's see here. Um, close the cock and rip it right off. Uh, 
Well, uh, I, I imagine you're talking about power distribution in the in the locomotive, as in uh, fencing is, I think, a process whereby uh, the traction motors are actually providing too much power so at the moment. It's not quite realistic from what I've read, but I, I may be wrong. I may be barking up the wrong tree here. As I, again, I I'm only a hobbyist. I plays different games. So did we do it in time? Hurrah! Yay. Okay, give me the monies. Give me all the monies, and then we need to do repairs. Yeah, I said repairs. Now, where is... Uh, back to E-Yard. Because this is what I like to do. And then we're just going to take one of yous. Right, and... Oh, it's that guy I done it to. Right, good, 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 good. And then just forwards march. And basically come out, push back, all the way back to the beginning of the yard. That's just what we're gonna have to do. And then, okay, I see which track we need to be on. I just don't know if I can align it on the fly. We'll see. We'll be fine. I'm sure. Uh, this here track. Right, I shall... Uh... Alright, it's just this one we need to fling out once we're past. I'll have a look in a second, two seconds. Uh... And come back the way. Uh, control the remote from the front, but not having the front controls just being blindly replicated to the back. But isn't the whole point of running multi-unit that you are synchronized with your settings? I would imagine. Like, I, 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 for me, this is why I run in multi-unit where, all right, fair enough. <coughs> I, I, I wouldn't know, like, for me, I, I would have just assumed, well, I'm, you know, I'm using multi-unit, I'm connecting the locomotives. And whatever I do at the front, I won't replicate at the back. There's for that's for me. So sort of the whole point, so I don't have to go running forth and back essentially and change everything, or like or change settings on on individual locos. So it seems a bit uh, redundant in a, in a way to me. But again, <laughs> you know what do I know? Not a professional. <laughs> Yeah, well, of course. But for me, that then comes down to basically speed management of the entire length. Like, in, 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 oh, in my... Yeah, so, to me, what you talk about, Biana, is so that you're separating the locomotives actually in between the train somewhere. That, like, not like this case where they're both attached like you're talking basically two separate trains almost but joined into one like one loco some sort of tr load another loco and another p sort of load that's what it sounds like you're talking to me uh, what, what, what you're talking about um, and forwards just carefuling for now because 
what I would like to do is, you know, get you out and... Yeah, okay. So we are actually talking about different concepts there, that's fair enough. Right, yes, okay. Makes sense, actually. Because otherwise you would obviously rip that connection just straight apart. If you're too, pl applying too much power, say, in the front of the, uh, of the train, whereas the back of the train is still struggling with that power distribution. Yeah, 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 I'm, I'm with you now. Okay, cool. See, I, I can learn sometimes. Slowly but surely, but I can learn. I didn't even need to do that. I could have just left her. Oh, no, 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 please don't, please don't. Ho, ho, ho. Every time, every time I do something like this, come back a bit. He'll do, he'll do nicely. Just stop. Thank you. No, not, not on top. Thank you. Let's go and attach the fuel nozzle. <clears throat> Where are we? Click. So, powertrain, wheels, you know, all that good stuff. Do all the repairs and all the refills. Good. Next train. Click. Um, this is a habit. I always go back to that first one. And there we go. What's the total bill? Oh, that's actually not too bad. I'm, I'm... Yes, okay. Go throw away. Now, you need to go and just sit there. Be pretty. Let us find the thing. Yes, yeah, yeah, I did the refuel as well. I've done it on both as well, so, you know. Oh, uh. oh don't worry about it, Bjarne. Um, actually, English is not my native language either. Y you may not think it, but I am actually German by birth, and I have lived there for 26 years of my first, uh, my first half of my life, so to speak. Let's find a job. Let's let's find. Be gone, Satan! <coughs> no, no. I, I just don't want to do shunting jobs. They just bore me endlessly to death. But you know, it, it's it's a me thing because I want to be all over the place. I I, I don't want to be just in stuck in the one place. Uh, so what do we do? Uh, back to steel mill? No. Mach machine factory in town. What do we have there? I mean, 40k. That's oh hazmat too. Ooh. Um. Uh, 30k for a long one. Was that 400 tons? We could do that with one. DH4 actually. Uh, and that city southwest does also hazmat two and hazmat one. What, what on earth have you got on there? Gasoline and diesel. Okay, uh, I can't do that yet. 4K and yeah, pff, be gone. I mean, <clears throat> go go over there. How much are you? <clears throat> 18K. No. Oh. 20k, what's this? Food factory in town. Oh. Well, you're, you're, you're not wrong. I, I live in Scotland. <laughs> but no, I have, honestly, I have, I've been born and bred in, tw in Germany for 26 years, but I have lived in Scotland now for 17, so 
that may explain some of that, right? Uh, hazmat one and long. I'm thinking, what's that? Six, eight. That's essentially a gigaton there. No, oh, but you had a bang on there. <laughs> bang on, mate. Um, maybe just this one. I mean, this seems like a complex load already with 600 tons, 244 meters. Uh, is there another DH3 here? I mean, that? Uh, DH4, I mean, not DH3, what am I talking? DH3 is not a thing, it's a DM3. It's like diesel mechanic or something like that, I, I don't know. Uh, nope, there's a D2 I could strap in front. Oh, well, that'd be a funny sight, right? But it would give me the extra pulling power, I reckon. Um, what do I do here? Because I reckon, yeah, you're a D2 as well. And that's got to be the only two locomotives standing here, right? Yeah. I'm not two, I mean, like, the only two lots. Uh, what do we do here? I think I will just take the 600-odd tons. If I can find it. Yeah, that guy. I think I will just take him. <laughs> so good, man. I, I knew exactly what you meant. Don't worry. Um, I mean, 35k. I think this has got to be enough for those two. So we're going to keep the job on us. It was only an E70. Where are we going? Food factory. Where are we? How about who? Almost thinking of taking taking the back path here. Yeah. You know, I like my back passages. I like to take back passages. So why not go and do that and then come round this round all and you know do the reverse of what we did last time. Yes, which means I can literally just take my locomotives as they are, pull them back out, pull them through into E yard, and pull the load out. Don't even have to worry about time really. The only thing I would probably do is bring the locomotives up to sort of here-ish, you know, like bring them closer to the actual office. Basically saying, hey boss, I'm ready for work. What do you want me to do? <sighs> Wrong locomotives. That's, that's the guy I want. Uh, uh, oops. Start button, not the stop button. Oh. Orient thyself, Sebastian. That would be helpful. And then, yes, we are going backwards for now. And remember, kids, always check these after maintenance because for some reason, sometimes they get put on, sometimes don't. I, I, I don't understand it quite, but it's, it's a thing. And very gently and carefully, we're going to pull out. I know it's not something I normally do, but we're going to pull out this time. Right. I'm gonna give it a bit more of the beans here. <laughs> I know, Buckley, I know. Here comes the innuendo. So. British is looking good, I like, I like, I like, and what I shall do, because I am lazy that way, I shall... Oh, you're not going to do that for me. What, because I am... Oh, yeah, uh, ah, because we're not stopped. I need to stop the locomotives first, that would help. <coughs> they don't like to switch gears just on their own, just because you say so. There we are. Oh, uh, click. 
yeah, multiplayer is sort of that last piece I feel is missing. And I mean, with remote dispatch, you have a sort of way of doing that because you could certainly have people, you know, doing remote dispatch on in, in, in the browser, moving trains and loads. Um, but you know, then you would that, that would be really it need to be really well organized. Like it's it's sort of more of a discipline thing rather than a programmatically induced thing. But, I mean, absolutely, I can go right now into my settings here, right? And check remote dispatch and say for the user that is connected, well, I also want him to do local control. Okay. And we can probably even have a look at that. Um, maybe not as we're delivering a load. Also, stop. I went way too far, didn't I? Well, not too far. The office is just there. And we're going to stop right on the road because that's what I want to do. We're going to stop all traffic in that direction. Because fuck you all. Right, come on. Find the job. Oh no, wait, I have the job, don't I? I have the job. I need to click and click. I hear, I hear the car, cars tooting at me. I'm just coming back from the from the chip shop and I've, I've, I've just got a chippy right just just leave me alone I had to get my dinner there we go I got a roll play this <laughs> right and then before we go and just running off here with that load or with that non-existent load yet where is it uh, E7 outgoing. Okay, perfect. Nice, you know, super simple. Because this is literally the track right next to us. It's, it's this entire load that we're seeing here. Okay, Buckley, mate. Right, yes, it's a nice mix load. This is going to be interesting. Good, 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 good. Um, come on along. Ah, true enough, I'm, I'm talking about the evening meal in, in Scotland in general. When we say dinner, we mean, you know, the evening. As far as I know, anyways. But what do I know? I only work here. <laughs> well, no, I only live here, but you know that's... You, you get my point. Uh, I want to go in there and come back here, and that is the thing. And loosen the brakes. And I'm hoping I've done all this correctly, because this should now return me. Yes. Close that. Bring out my remote, please. Well, that is actually correct, yes. And here's B7. Oh, here's our thing. Here's what we want. Could well be, actually. I wouldn't know. It's further down south. But could could well be like I, I know there's a lot of that in the UK where they have sort of the same expression for different, slightly different meaning things. Um, but you know, to be fair, Scottish has its own idioms that are really weird. That was a little bit too much. Yeah, I didn't like that. That was a bit. Whoops. <laughs> Uh, this should be released. I mean, unlocked and all that. Yes, all good. Nope. So, the first thing I would like to do is, you know, connect the hoses. And not be blinded by the light. That would be helpful. No, don't unlock the coupler, Sebastian. Don't do that. 
It's always a mess when you do that. And, oh, it is not you. Jumping, 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 jumping to the very last one. And there we are. Okay, so click, 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 click. Okay, and let's go and put on some brakes for just a second. Uh, I don't think I could on the fly come up with an example, to be fair. Uh, like, uh, the Scottish one. Hmm. I could... Uh, I mean, so... When, when I say idioms, we have very particular words. For example, we have... Uh, these conditions where it's sort of wet, but it's more of a foggy kind of wet. It's more drizzle, right? They call it drich. It's, it's, it's sort of one of those... You won't find an English word for it. It's it's a very Scottish thing to do right there. Like, it's one of those examples. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Wrong direction. Wrong direction. And release all the brakes. And then before, no, this is why I had a brake on Sebastian because we're going to lay out the line first where we're going. Actually, where is the load going? That would be interesting to know, right? We're going to food factory in town C6I. Okay, let me bring you Sova. <clears throat> and we are, you know, we're leaving out the back here. As I say, we're. we're I'm pulling out again. I know, I know, unbelievable, unbelievable. But we're pulling out the back this time, so at least I have that going for me, right? And we're just coming up here, and this is just a whole mess of sort of uphill struggle, if you will. Uh, then I need to do a right here, yes, because we are then going past goods factory in town here. Up. Uh, up on the top, yep, yep, yep. Then going left, joining the track there. Then we're doing the circle thing here. You know, da 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 da, coming down, coming down, and this looks like it's lined in into food factory, and then just find C. What did I say? C6I. It's right there. Perfect. So we'll just take C6I as we're coming in and lining ourselves in for that. Okay. And that is basically it. But I could also now go and jump to this player. Here is a locomotive. L059. There she is. Okay. And the reverser is set up. You hear the brake releasing. And, you know, there she is starting to pull. And you can see her move on the map. So, yeah, you can multiplayer. Because there's obviously other <laughs> locomotives on. The problem you have is you can only access locomotives that are n near to the player. Because they need to be spawned in. So, you know, there is your limitation right there. That, that's that's your big one and why I think at the moment it's not quite feasible. <laughs> uh, possibly. Although they might, may just call it uh, everyday living, right? Oh, oh, oh that, that was a bit... Uh, but, you know, with, with the amount of conflict going on there, it, it wouldn't be unreasonable to think that. Uh, we are going forwards at 50, well, 40 actually, because that turn is right gnarly. That's coming up. No, oh, apparently you say you can do it at 50. I don't believe you, but if you say so. And we are moving. Oh, I forgot the thing. Toot. Toot. And yes, we are on our way. I, I don't foresee any problems now, except me buggering up speeds and that. Oh, 
Oh, she's working for this though. Uh, yeah, I, I, I forgot to turn that on. Also, it doesn't work with D-Ray Valley for some reason. Mm. So, may as well just... Yeah, you, you run. And can I just do that? Yes. Okay. You say 60, but... I know that we have quite a lot of train still behind us, so, you know, not going to be a thing for a while. I'm going to try and run this a little bit as a outside youth. Nice, 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 nice. What is that? 70, you say? Well, I suppose we can start going for that 60. If you can reach it. Because something tells me... This is all uphill. <coughs> I mean... Yeah, she's struggling. So I'm gonna set her to 40. If she can reach that and she can coast there, then good. Oh my goodness, 2.3. I always get this wrong, I think. I think it's degrees. I don't think it's percent. But it's, it's, it's a steep incline. Nope. It's definitely a steep incline. Well, that's good. Good, we're starting to coast a bit. I mean... Wow. I mean, I mean, just wow. That's cost you a lot of speed just letting go there. Yeah, this this load is nothing a uh, sneeze at. Like, you know, this is. Yeah, I can see that being an issue. Come on. But yeah, 600 tons is, that's a lot of metal to move with two little locomotives. See, this is one of the reasons I think why they've brought in the slug as well for the D6 is actually to provide more mass to that whole construct rather than, yeah, well, you've got the traction motors, of course. Um, but it's, I think, also to do with the fact of just adding more mass to the pulling thing. Yeah, why, why do you let go? Don't, 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 just don't do it. And we can try and get out to 60, but... We are moving a lot of metal. It's just what it is. <laughs> oh, not even metal, just a lot of goods, actually. You know, plus the metal of the actual train.
Yeah, I know you're really hot. It's it's fine. You're just gonna have to live with that. Come on. I love this route though, because it's really so in the mountains. Reminds me a lot of like driving through Switzerland, for example. Really just missing that snow that Buckley was referring to earlier on. That would be sort of the crowning thing in this game. But okay, we're finally making a bit of speed. I think it's starting to go downhill. Yeah, even the rippings are now going up here. Good, 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 good. That's what we'll see. You say 70. Okay. Yes, I, I assumed 60. Now, how is this going? I'm uh, still losing a little bit of speed, so it's still a little bit uphill. Plus, we're going around a, a curve as well that bleeds off speed. Okay. But we're actually making good headway here. Now, once these sort of trains move, they move. And it's actually more a problem of stopping them. Uh, there was something in, in the last stream where basically I had I had connected all the hoses, but I hadn't opened the stopcock and ran into a steel mill trying to stop, and it, it just didn't happen. And it took me ages to figure out what happened, and we were way past steel mill by that time. Because I came shooting in there, like, 55, 60 kilometers as well, it, it was... It was beautiful. And we'll just leave, leave you pendle in for that 60. I quite like that. Good. Are you sure about the 60? I've not run this path all that often yet, so I'm still learning these bends and that. Oh, 60 all the way. Okay. Still 60, and yeah, as I suspected, it's still slightly uphill. I have a feeling I know roughly where we are. No, we're not. Not anywhere near it.
Yeah, no point going for that 7 m Oh, really? Okay. Let's pause. Yeah, should be fine now. Okay, well, I can see that. <clears throat> yeah, ooh, okay. No, 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 do not. Let yourself go to that 40, this, this is fine. Gonna have to wait with that 60 for quite a while. And all these dark passages, uh, passages I'm entering here are shocking. It's almost like I chose this path on purpose, right? go and get up to 50 now. We're, we're way past the 60 now so I can try and pull a bit. Apparently it's getting hot in here. Well, we're coming up to the overpass on Goods Factory in town. I love that bit, by the way. And we're doing it in the fog, by the looks of it. Ha <laughs> ha! There's got, there's got to be a screenshot somewhere in here, right? There's got to be some awesome screenshot in here somehow. Let me see here. Further back. Mm, maybe here. I, I don't know, I'm trying to set up something here while we're coming along. Might as well. I think that was it right there. That was that was quite cool looking. Yes. Now I just love this whole fact that normally you're coming in here from the bottom. And this is a dead end too. It doesn't go anywhere, so you have to pull back out the same way. So I like that. Are you still trying to reach your sixty? Yeah, just get over this wee hill and you'll be fine, I think. Yeah, this is what I mean, like, with Derail Valley being played as different games. You can play it, you know, just as the actual train driver simulating that experience, or you can do the whole, oh, I've got a model train at home, am I just going to watch from the outside and just, you know, watch them do their thing? At pretty much any scale. Well, not any scale, but it's it's cool. I don't know. I like that. And we're not even talking about the VR content because I can't speak for it. I haven't seen it. I well, I have seen it, but seeing VR on a flat screen is completely in, uh, pointless. Okay. Uh, I'll, there, I, I said it. Watching a video of someone playing VR on YouTube on a flat screen is entirely pointless. 
because it doesn't convey the depth perception. It just doesn't. I mean, sure, you get that sense of POV perspective, if you will, but you're not truly understanding what the player sees. Yeah, this, this is a hard run for these locomotives, I'll be honest. Didn't expect them to be struggling this much. Because individually they're rated for like 500 tons. Oh wow, okay. When the heck are we just now? Okay. Um, right. It's basically the turn off towards like coal mine and was the iron mine east. <laughs> Again, I love this as well, seeing trains going through these sort of S bends sneaking along I was going to say what's happening with my frames there but it's looking good so well, I'm assuming the experience is still fluid for you guys Going left, which should be fine for a 40, you say? Even though you can't even get there yet. My goodness, my goodness, this is some climb, must be. For them to be struggling this much. Come on. Yeah, this should be it now. Like, this should be the worst part over. So now we're heading into this bit where we're going to do a sort of 360 turn on ourselves. On ourselves. Good, I like. What's the speed limit there? You say 50? Well, let's just get through this first. Because I've got a lot of train here still to contend with. Okay. I think I'm willing to go the 50. So many trees in the way. So many trees. Need to get a tree doctor out here. I'm sorry, tree surgeon. Yeah, I've been to load last time here. I mean, we saved Scumded, but yeah, I, I, I've been to thing here, so gonna have to be careful. Come on, how's this going? All looking good, yes, we are yeah, heading right into that whole bit now. Sweet. Now we can just let her run for a bit.
Also, uh, well, that's from my last game. Well, you may as well just stay there, Sebastian. You say 70. Um, am I happy with that? Uh, yes. Sod it. Make back a little bit of time. Because we did lose some time doing that climb. No, oh, of course. Of course you're dropping right down like that. Love this driver assist. Okay, good. Yeah, and then a lot of trains still behind me before I can go even to sixty. Nope. I suppose we can... There we go. Good, 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 good. Hopefully not losing any train by doing this. And there we go, coasting away nicely. And again, I'm not going to rush this. You know, to be fair, like 60 even does feel a little bit rushed at times in certain bits. But if the track's laid out for it, it should be fine, right? That's what I reckon. Yeah, here's one of those trees I was talking about. What What is that tree actually doing? Like, Oh, it's just very, very long. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Speed limit. Yeah, that, I don't know, that tree is just a little bit weird. And apparently certain locomotives can actually clip into it. I mean, it's been fixed in, in Update 97, or Built 97, but it apparently was a thing. <laughs> I was lucky enough to never have actually experienced that. I've, I've seen other little... I will call them freaky physics things. Because, you know... <clears throat> Computers and physics be behaving like that. Because there's always a part of that part of the simulation that we're missing. That we can't quite emulate or... You know, we're just taking maybe the lazy route in terms of the calculations because otherwise it'd be too many of them. There's a lot of tricks that we have to do in physics simulations to sort of make it work on the computer. Oh, gosh. Gosh, gosh. I don't know if that speed is going to be fine. I haven't actually paid attention. Uh, it may be. Well, here we go. Here, here we go. Where, where are we on that turn? Oh, we're actually nearly done with that whole round thing. Good. Mm -hmm. And back to four, of course.
I'm gonna have to check my Discord. It's been really, really busy today. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, uh Yeah, still 40. Yeah, there's uh okay, nothing nothing else of general import right now. And we are Yeah, that's a 40 still. Well, literally right now what 2 minutes from food factory, which I love. Another successful run today, by the looks of it. With some beautiful sights. And some real struggles for these poor locomotives. Good. And then we need to see how much the money is. So... You say 50 bit, no. I'm, I'm just saying nope. Right, because uh, I, I, I sort of know what's coming up. And ain't pretty. So we're just gonna let her coast straight here. And let her do the thing. Yeah, see? Okay, the next thing I would like to do is. Oop, zoom in the wrong direction, of course. Uh, find myself quickly, Food Factory. Uh, yes, went over that, went past here, here I am, okay. So I can make sure and see that there's nothing in the track where we're pulling into. <coughs> I mean, so far nothing has spawned yet in Food Factory, but it'll happen soon. I actually love this whole uh, concept of, you know, snaking trains through these sort of mountainous areas and tight turns and so it's awesome. Makes my happy little neurons fire. Ah, uh, see, still 30, so there's no point in going even ham on that. But yeah, uh, literally right in front of us, it's just a sort of double, uh, no, one S-bend sort of thing, and then we're in. And we should be lined in straight into our, actually, C6I. No, no reason for me to do anything. I can just literally let a coast and let her rip. And there indeed is the whole thing, like food factory and town. And we should be lined in nothing in C6I from what I can see. And yes, indeed the track looks clear. Yes. All the way through and then, you know, do my usual. Where's the end of the train? As in, hull there. And, yeah, wait for the actual marker to turn up and then stop the train. Ah. 
and I can probably save stop just about now. Should be perfect, right? Good. Off. Off. Do the handbrake breakdance. So I like to do this for some reason. I don't know. I like to set it up like that. Then, you know, put the handbrake on. Uh, close this cock and rip it off. And unlock. Now here comes my usual... Oh, I see it. Oh, I was going to say, here comes my usual problem. I can never find the thing. But I found it the thing first try. First try. Hoorah. Miracles do happen, apparently. Now, please tell me. Yes. Made it in time. Good. Now, does Food Factory... They have maintenance, do they not? Uh, I thought they had a maintenance. Yeah, 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 right there. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Okay, okay, okay. Where am I? I'm here. I need to go all the way back to here. And then grab one of you guys and do like so and <clears throat> like so. And go. And then go into the maintenance hall, do repairs and see how much we made and, you know, how much we've got left over after that. Oh, that's not the maintenance. Oh, no, it's, it's over there. I, I misunderstood there. So here's the thing, you know, you're still coupled and then we're going to just do the thing quickly. Probably <clears throat> a bit further. Switch that. Uh, yep, you're going left. That's correct. And yes, you're going right. That's exactly what we need to do. So, reverseth thyself, releaseth thy brake, and poureth on thy beans. And you know, let's just go to the maintenance hall and you know get 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 him lined up here. Should be coming in to view. Oh, maybe a little bit fast. Eh, twenty is fine. Good. Maybe some breakage would be good. Also, let's get out the way. <clears throat> good. That's it. Pull in, pull in. And enter. Ooh. And, oh, too much break. Uh, no, not enough break. I mean, well, perfect, actually. Couldn't do that again if I tried. Turn, turn you off. All right, mm, you come with me. You go in there. Then we do oil and diesel. All right, then switch over. All right, and we're going to do the same. Do all the repairs, fill in the oil, and fill up on fuel. Total bill, 18k. Yeah, that was expensive on us. That, okay, I can see that. We're over 200k, but we're going to be under it again. You know, it's fine. 
Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Uh, how much is now left? 195,000. That's actually... I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. You know, we're getting fairly close. And you are off at the moment, which is good. I want to... Please, pa let me pass. Good grief. I want to check something out. What is the actual requirements for the DE6? Like, what, what do I need first before I can do that even? Is it going to let me... Is it going to tell me, I wonder, right? So, click, 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 click. Okay. Okay. There was no fees, you stupid son of a so-and-so. It's fine. Now, tell me again. Oh! I just need 200k. I can... I, I can do it. We have all the licenses. Oh, yes. I love it. Um... What I'm going to do, though, is before we do any other loads or any more money making, I am going to take a break. Okay. And then I would say we're going to pick up another load. I may even do a shunting job. I mean, I, I don't know yet. We could... Anything interesting we could run to is fairly quickly. Farms is, is a hall, like... Is there, what else? Harvan Town... Steel Mill... Steel Mill, City Southwest. City Southwest could be interesting, because there's also a shop there. But wh how much is that job gonna make us? Probably not enough. Like... Probably gonna just end up doing uh, one or two shunting jobs. I can't do that one. I can't do that one. I could do that one. Uh, I can't. And I could do that one. And I could also theoretically do this one. Do this one. Okay, so... There's possibilities. There's a three drop-off. 600 tons, so we, we have the power to do it. Um, or something with 10k, I, I don't know. Might probably just do this one. Uh, so transport 14 cars from C6I to D1 loading, unload 3 cars at D1L. Um, transport 10 cars from D1L to C1S, transport 3 cars from D1L to D4S, and 1 car from D4S, uh, D1L to D3S. Okay, so you're basically picking up a thing, unloading it, and then splitting the cars off. Okay, doesn't actually sound too complicated. So this may be a job we, we could actually do. And, you know, after me just saying I hate shunting jobs. But maybe this is just the thing we're going to do. Anyway, so we're going to take a break. And I'm going to see you in about five minutes or so.
and I am back, I believe. So yes, I think this is the job I'm going to try and do. Right, we're going to pick it up from C6I. Oh my goodness. Hello, fog. So it is literally coming from... Oh wait, this is our consist. You are kidding me, right? Um, we're basically taking a thing that we've just delivered here. And we may as well... <laughs> we may as well see it full circle, right? Right. Yeah, cu couple that. We're going to start with that, right? That's, that's sort of the thing that we can do right now. Um, let me try and... Find my... Yep, here we go. <laughs> we know this load actually quite well. Cool. Uh, we're going to need both because this is heavy. Right, and the usual. Uh, put it in forwards. And I think I know where I'm going with this already. Uh, D1L and all that. Um, so go. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-uh. I knew it. <sighs> Fine. Uh, switch. Go. Yeah, that's better. Right, and... Yeah. Go. And so what I'm going to do is going to couple it in <clears throat> and then th throw the train basically back here on this track and pull him, uh, push him into the other one. I need to click. Shoot, I was a little bit tech, but it's fine. Come to a stop. Change directions, release that, and basically, you should tell me that if I'm looking at this correctly, we should just pull back into the same thing we just did. So let's try and find out. Oh. Goes left, goes left, goes right, C6I, indeed. Perfect. Also, I need to ready this coupler. And there we are. Good, 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 good. Um, this is probably fast enough. <clears throat> perfect, 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 perfect. And yeah, come on. All the way. And maybe a little bit of the breakage. Uh, maybe a little bit fast. <laughs> Whoops. Still too fast, oh my goodness. Yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. Nice and gentle. And couple. And then we are going forwards. And then basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way back here to that switch. Right? And wait until the end of the train has passed. That's basically what's going to have to happen. So make sure all the brakes are loose. And go. Uh, uh, stop, you can't. You, you can't, Sebastian. You, you forgot a thing. Can someone tell me what I forgot? Because... Oh no, wait, this would have been directly connected, which means... No, it didn't. Okay, I am confused. Like, these are supposed to actually loosen themselves, I thought. But, um, it's fine. Six, go.
Yeah, she's moving. Okay, she's starting to move. Good, 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 good. And then, as I say, I just have to wait until the end actually passed right there. And there she comes, right through the trains. Good, 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 good. Now, I don't know anything about the time limit or if I'm going to be able to do that this time, but we'll see. Good. Well, I see this is all happening quite nicely. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And then I'm just going to let off. May have actually been a little bit fast there. Okay, good, good, good. Come on, stopped a little bit too soon, but it's fine. Still curious as to what that is connected to. I need quite a bit of power to pull this up the hill there. And this should do, but because she'll just start rolling back anyways. Are you kidding me? Ah! Just not quite far enough. I don't want to have the splits again. So down here, this is fine by the way, and then we're doing a switch here, down this track, and if I'm not mistaken, D1L is on the very right here, yes, which, uh, yes, right, right, perfect, which means she should be coming around the corner here. Because, well, downhill. But she's not gaining more speed, so this should be fine if I now just line up with 1L here. So I can get past a bit where the locomotives are. <clears throat> and hope for the best. I can see her there. Ah, there she is. Good. Right, my goodness, this is quite a lot of train. <laughs> Holy schnitzel. <laughs> okay, let's pour on some, some brake here. Ah, 
Now I need to find the console. Is this it? Yes. Uh, no. What do you mean, need all cars on the track? Okay, I need to check out probably what we're supposed to be doing. Um, ah, shit. Um, this is exactly what I'm doing. Do I need to pull her back a bit? I mean, I don't know here. I'm going to pull her forwards a bit. Oh, wait. Uh, it helps if you loosen the brake, Sebastian. Uh... I wonder if this is already enough, just just right here. We're just gonna have to try, right? No, wrong direction. fully unloaded okay now comes my next one what do I put where uh, so put me uh, put me back on this sheet All right um, is this this three is this three that have yeah that looks like three and one more so CFF 558 is what I'm looking for it's not you, so I imagine that CFF558 is... Where are you? You. Okay. What am I doing with the last three, then? What is this? CFF662... Uh, 652, yes. And... C CBX642. And what are you? Oh, you're going on D3S. Oh my sh... Okay. Right, okay. Go. Uh, lose the brake. Uh, D3... I'll be you, right? D3S is this one. So, change this one over, and basically get the train onto this track. So I need to have the end of it passed here. This should be fine, unless, of course I did. Of course I did, just, you know, by a little bit. OK. 
Okay, good. Now we are pushing one single thing into 3D, uh, D3S and I'm going to just push this all out the way. Like that's just what's going to have to happen. And then, by the way, where is this one going? That's D4S, that's one over. And then you're going into C1S. Okay. Okay. We, we can actually do that. That's fine. And this should just bash into here. Come on, slow down just enough to make it not brutal. Okay, and push. I just need you. And stop. Right, make sure. CBX 109. Uh, this, this is the guy. Okay. No. Oh. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, actually. I just need this too. Right, oh, also you. Right, okay, cool. Now we are going, you know, back forwards, release the brake and go. Good. Now I need to be on this track, and we need to be a lot more careful with that one, I think. And this is fine, and I need to push three cars in. Right, so hit, hit that brake first of all. Okay, and then check the drop sheet. That's D4S, and it is literally, yep, yeah, one, two, three of those. Uh, please tell me there's nothing volatile in here. It looks empty, uh, like there would be something in this field here. So we, we, we may be fine. No more, no less. Just, just gently tap it in here. Good, 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 good. I like this. I like this. I like this a lot. <clears throat> and just bump in and then where's d4s there's the thing okay i need three cars in here i said right that's our first one good the second car in and here's the last one of this consist and I'm sure right yeah 662 yep six hit the brake um, handbrake uh, no I need this and this and then we're gonna pull all this back out again and push it into C something oh that was my fault
Yeah, there we go. Oops, and then where you want it? In C1S. Okay. We can do that. I think this is enough speed to pour on for now. And let me go and find C1S quickly. It'll be one of you guys. It's you. Okay. So I want to make sure you're going over that way, right? Yes. Same for you. Okay. Uh, you also need to be swung over. Uh, you are already pointing that way. You are not. Wait, are you? No, you're not. And then you actually need to be pointed this way. Yeah, this is perfect. Ha <laughs> ha. Loving how this is coming together. I just don't think we're going to have enough speed to get her quite uphill here. So let's... Because we know how that hill goes. And then... Come on, you're going to be enough. Just. My goodness. And we are heading now back into C1S. Hopefully I've done this right. Oh, I can't even change the reverse now because... We are already rolling too fast. Oh, great fun. Uh, well, he is hoping for the best, right? Yeah, it looks like it should be fine. Yes, perfect. I can't see anything going wrong here unless there's something in C1S, and if that's the case, we'll push it out the way. Because realistically, who cares, right? But no, this is perfect. This is a perfect little shunt, I think. Uh, yeah. Probably put some of that speed uh, brake on, right? And then what I'll do is make sure we are actually... Yeah, see, we're not quite. I had a feeling. Is that just the one? That's even better then, because then all I need to do is... Yep, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And... Rock. So does that mean I can just do this? I don't think it did. Uh, I don't think you did do the thing. No, you... Oh my goodness. I think this is what I wanted. Yes. Okay. Note to self, you need to make sure that switch to the correct thing. And multi-unit is connected, by the looks of it. Oh. A, a handbrake? Oh, apparently you've done the thing. And for now, quickly turn them off to save at least some fuel while I've been mucking about. And hopefully the job pays just well enough, right? And here it is. 
and tell me we've done everything and we've even done it in time. Now, one more time with feeling, I need to repair everything. Uh, where am I? Where is my locomotives? Uh, I am... No, not here. Here's my load. And then... Eh, just one will do. Oh wait, 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 did you, did, did we do a thing? Are we... No. Oh, I, I didn't go forwards. That's what I did. You know, that would help. <clears throat> I'll just let her run. I know I need you turned. But you're perfect the way you are, which means I just need to pa get past this switch now. And then I can hit the brake and return. This should be enough to just push us the right in there. And, you know, we'll do the usual. Where's my hut? Here we are. And see what she's doing. Hopefully I've done this right. <laughs> it was a little bit rushed, I will admit. If she turns my way, then all is good. Which she does, and you know, some of the brakes would probably be helpful right now. Yes, much better. <clears throat> nice, nice, nice. Good, good, good. Um, still a little bit fast, probably. And that seems actually perfect. Okay, stop. Now, please tell me we've just got this done with without any major damage. Uh, some damage has been done, of course. But this should be in no relation to what we would have used for a full run. And we should still be able to afford the D6, hopefully. Okay, 4,000, and yes, it looks like this should be absolutely freaking fine. It's like, hurrah. Thanks, guys. Uh, I think I shan't need your services for much longer. I have a feeling. Just need to find myself a place where D6 is now, and then, <laughs> you know, um, all the things. So, first of all, what? What fees? I've just done the repairs, but it's fine. I will pay fees. Okay, are we we were good licenses. Insert wallet. Confirm. Yes! We have unlocked the D6. Just in time, Buckley. <laughs> You've literally just witnessed the unlocking of the D6. Whew. 
Yeah. Now comes the thing I probably just need D6s here. Like I'm sure I've only seen a bunch of D2s. Yeah, I'm I mean, which is fine, right? I'm, I'm, I'm not opposed to doing another run with a D, uh, with a D8 force, um, and go somewhere where you know we were more likely to run into one of the new guys, or we could do fast travel. But I feel like, oh my goodness, what happened here? Yeah, I know, I know, I happened. Um, <laughs> now I know Harbor and Ton has them, but that's where are we actually? Where, where am I? Food factory? Oh, all the way back to Harbor and Town. No, thank you. Is there maybe something near the yeah, city southwest? That's opposite end. Uh, go and try and try and clean these jobs up quickly, so I can see what's actually going on here. Right. Hmm. Trying to see a machine factory in town, no. Uh, steel mill, farm, city southwest, Harband town. Where's goods factory? Uh, goods factory isn't actually all that far away, right? And we could do that with one DH4 quite happily. So, oh my goodness, 7k. Is that even going to be worth doing the run? My goodness. Uh, where's this? That's Harbon Town again. I don't want to do... I suppose I could take these two together. Right, <clears throat> D4S and C2O. Uh, I, I... Or, I mean, Machine Factory isn't actually that... It's not that bad a run. I mean, Food Factory is basically out, doing the right turn um, past R1 North and then on the left into Goods Factory. It's, seems less than going all the way here. So you know what, that's what we're doing. Sorry. it. So I need the jobs lined up. You go and live up there. I want you, please, there and Like so, even okay, I'll do. Um, so D4S. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to deal with D4S. I, I really don't want to deal with D4S because we've just shoved something in there. Uh, and besides, which 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 way are we facing actually with our D4s that way? So, you know what, Machine Factory, it is apparently. Where was it? I did see at least one. Yeah, see you. And where are you in C1S? Wait, is that just all the empty cars we've just dumped in there? Well, apparently we're now taking them to Machine Factory in town. That's what we're going to do, right? Uh, how heavy is that load? I forget. 146 tons. <laughs> yeah. We're going to do this with one DH4. Save ourselves some cost. And please jump out here. Oh, also. <laughs> Whoopsie doopsie. And, you know, just close there. only thing that's a bit disconcerting is that you can't properly uncouple these two in terms of multi-unit because of the modded coupler. It's the one thing you can't just get to. So I'm hoping I can get you started up, you know, do all this stuff, loosen this brake and carefully just pull away. We 
Wait, what? What? Oh yeah, I, I keep forgetting. I need to also tell you which direction to go, right? You like that? And boom, we should be disconnected for all intents and purposes. Okay, now these are definitely wrong. So you know they're gonna go like thusly. Uh, cab light is on. Good. Yeah, give it a means. Uh, this will do and then the plan is to just back up should literally lead us right into our C1S because that's all we did we just pulled out from there can't believe they had us taken apart all that and now we're actually taking it somewhere else I mean I actually like it in a way because it's there's a continuity here right Right, and we are still hooked in, good. I want to make sure we are lined in right, okay? And it does not... No, this is correct, because it's now all the rights here. That does, yep, 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 yep. Well, I suppose we're just going to wait here for our little locomotive. Oh, maybe a little bit fast, so... I'll do right. 35 in a yard. <laughs> uh, while you're actually doing... shunting. Yeah, I'm sure the yard operator would be absolutely thrilled. Uh, a lot more of that break. Okay, that was slightly scary. Note to self, Sebastian, don't do that again. Oh, nice one. Nice one, mate. That's always a good one. And I think we're good, but let me check the handbrake because, you know, those are things that need to be done. And then I'm going to click, click. And then we are going... Where are we going with this? Machine factory in Tau into T C2S. <clears throat> okay. We we were going to go and do the thing. Right? Where are we the, right now? We are... Right now... We are... We are we're, we're here. Sorry. I had to find myself first. Uh, so we're going to pull out. Yada, yada, yada. All that good stuff. And then let's zoom out and follow along. Nope. We want to stay up north. Okay, because we're going to go through... I don't actually what IMWS... Uh, IMW is... Industrial Machine, something like that? I, I don't know. Um, but that's basically what we're pulling into here right now, somewhere. Yep. Make sure we are nicely lined through. Where is that track? So it's the highlighted track as basically the through route, okay? Um, nice, so that's already lined in. And here we are into C to S. If I can find, I always get this wrong. Ah. Yes, yes. And then down here. Uh, C yard. Where's C yard in here? C to S there. Okay. So click. Uh, click. And yeah, that's it. We are lined in. Yes, indeed. Let me go set up forwards 50 or something. Although, it's, is it not 30 actually? Well, we'll see. But we are on our way. Good. I think it may be 30 actually, so it's, you know, 
be a little bit sensible there. And see how we go. Oh, it's a 70 actually. Oh, well, give it the beans then. Like, this literally should be no problem for this locomotive. Still getting warm for it. I mean, okay, we we are accelerating though. Like we're not losing speed at the same time, so that's good. So just keep an eye on the speed limits, and we should be fine. You know, famous last words. Uh, no, honestly, I actually like that whole continuity. Basically, thinking about the fact that we had a load from Harbin Town, 800 tons essentially, or was it 700 tons? I think 700, but it was 680 or something like that. It was really heavy. It was still at 40 meters long. We got it down here to the food factory, right? Changed. Well, we took the whole load apart, and then now we're taking the remainders of those empty wagons over to a machine factory. I, I like that sort of how they make those jobs being continuous. It's, it's quite cool. Gives you really the sense of, yeah, we're actually doing, you know, jobs that belong together, that, that have an impact on each other, so to speak. Still 50, that's fine. Okay, that is going up to 60, but goes back to 50, so... No, that's actually the other way. Whoops, 50 is fine. Read the sign, Sebastian. Nice. Well, we're gonna wait a bit because we have quite a bit of train behind us. I want to get it out that turn first. But yeah, we can apparently go 80. Well, let's say 70 for now. Also, it's getting night time, so maybe, you know, put the big lights on. See? Had a feeling. I had a feeling it was going to be dropping down again. But we are level great now, which means we could just pull with all our might. And you can see that in the acceleration as well. Oh my goodness, okay. 50. Fine. There's your 50. It's all going downhill apparently. Good, okay. Well, yeah, we're on our way. We're now, yeah, through the mountains. <laughs> There's no other way to describe it when you look at the map here. Nothing but through the mountains, so... Gonna be an interesting little run, but we should have no problems in terms of weight and length. Should be fine.
I'm not even going to change the speed yet at the moment. He says as he gets ready to push the buttons to go faster, right? Um, there we go. So I take it back that you had no advisories either? Because that's, that's normally where they get you. <laughs> Doing some good solid runs today, I'm liking it. Okay. Gonna have to wait a couple of meters, so to speak. Even at, like, what is that, 150 meters we've got with us, that train length is, or 180 uh, even, you know, train length is still a factor that we need to definitely consider, so, you know, speed limits and that are still something that you need to consider when, or the train length is something you need to consider when considering your uh, speed limits, that way around. Yeah, okay, come on, gonna just drop right down here. Very, gen very gently. Oops, wrong button. Yeah, that looks hairy. A little. What's that, 50 you say? Well, we still have, you know, quite a bit of train going through that 40 bit, so let's be gentle. I'll do. You're going back down on limit, so there's no point in me accelerating to 60 when you're just gonna probably either 50 or even less. Oh my goodness, of course. Might as well. <clears throat> we'll do the drop down right now. There we go. Nice and easy. Because I've really noticed this in this game, like the more you try and rush it, <laughs> like, just, things just go worse. And they, go, and they do so very quickly. It's almost like Murphy's Law, you know, if something can go wrong, it will go wrong. And it will do so with the worst possible consequences for your business. For example, it's an extension of Murphy's Law, of some call it. Uh, 60 you see, and I think that's exactly what I'm going to stick on. Because we're at 70 back there, so yeah, 60 here will be fine. Right, whereabouts are we? Alright, fairly straight stretch. Don't need that out.
Oh, 80 even. Well, we'll, we'll go gently with that. Because probably not quite yet. I don't know if she can reach 90, but we can try. Oh well. Suppose 70 is. Yeah, this is starting to look a little bit hairy in terms of the turn. Yeah. I can hear the metal complaining. Six, you should be fine. We're just gonna leave her at 60. It's just through the yard, right? Or of wherever we, uh, what if, uh, off wherever it is we are. I can English, honestly. That's it, you just give it the beans, go on. It's just wondering if I had Mr. D6 there, but probably not. This always scares me. That bit of weird rendering. Yeah, it never went back to 60, it sort of stayed at 50, I think, and, yeah, <laughs> whoops, yeah, you, 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 we, 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 we may want to slow down. My goodness, Sebastian. You. Nice. Okay, we're going left, which indicates as a 50 there. Yeah, I'm going to wait a little second. Oh, actually, it's fine. And what I would like to quickly do is look up what the DE6 rating is. Um, Alright. So I've set for... Well, it sort of says 1400, but... Uh, that is 80, apparently. Okay, thank goodness. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look at my licenses. <laughs> Because apparently they tell you it's about a thousand tons. I don't see a good number, but something in the, in the area of maybe 1,200 tons will do her. The D6. 12 to 1,400 is apparently what she's been rated for. 
So that's gonna be interesting. And you say 18. I say, give it the beans. And oh, uh, we're actually nearly there. So yeah, 50 would maybe it could be a good idea. Because here's my other one. Uh, where are we going? As in, like, seriously, C2S. I'm going to need to make sure that C2S is actually empty. Because this game likes to put things in S's. It really does. Like, the storage ones can be funky. <clears throat> okay, I see stuff spawning in. And you have got to be kidding me. You, 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 you. No, you're not even shitting me, okay? Um, gonna pull through C1L and push back into C2S. I've, I've basically changed already on the um, on the map. Okay, okay, uh, slow right down, my goodness. Um, yeah, there, there's a single car on C2S for some reason. So we're gonna have to budge that out the way, right? I, I, I don't even care. Stupid thing. And this should be our last car, yes indeed. Good. <clears throat> Right, uh, I don't know exactly where she's going at the end there, but we're just going to have to push a little bit past and just push back in here. <clears throat> Alright, I'll be this guy here. Because I've already lined this in for C2S. Okay, that should have worked, yes. Good. And reverse, please. Go on, you can do it. Come on. Nice, um, but maybe... A little le less judicious, uh, just something like that, maybe. Okay, you're coasting. Ah, oh, shoot. Get that remote out because we are going a little bit fast, I believe. Where are we? Okay, not too bad. Okay. Bleed off some of that. And then just bump him out of the way. I don't even care. Just get. Okay. Uh, shoot, 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 shoot. Wrong button. And you are the sign for C2S, good. So we're gonna push you all the way past that. Good, 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 good. Go on. And here we'll do nicely. Come to a stop. And then Uncouple and set up like so. Push the button and say go off, please. Now, here comes my usual. Where is. Where is. Okay, 
I, I always do this. I can never find the... Oh, there it is. Over there. Okay. Fine. I can never find stations in these places unless I've been there quite a few times. So, please just let me finish this off. And we've done it in time, thank goodness. And can we just... Uh, how much money do we have, actually? 50k, yeah, I think we're going to do the repairs ourselves. Shit. Uh, where is... Where are we? Um, so we're here. Do they have a maintenance hall? This is coming out. Maybe over here? I, I can... I can never remember. Oh, yes, there is, indeed. And I see a D6! Okay, so we're going to have to pull out quite a bit. So let me go and find my locomotive. Oh, yes, you. You, there, please. Release your breakage and go. Right, we're going to do quick repairs. <clears throat> And then we're going to pick up a D6 before we take a job. Just so we can actually get familiar with it. I mean, I've, I've showed it off in sandbox mode, but you know, this is the first time we've actually got it for reals. And then... Okay, I, I sort of see what's going on there. Okay, I understand. Maybe, maybe more breaks? And that'll do for now. And stop. Right. Do even that part correctly. And turn around. Yes. And get some more speed back in there. And let her run. The one thing I would like to probably do is set this up now. So we're coming along. We are going indeed left, yes. Uh, left still, that was correct. And then well, apparently just straight through. Cool. Here's the maintenance hall, let's do it. Maybe a little bit much, but it should be fine. Oh, there she is. Back there somewhere. Oh, he is hoping I've done all this correctly. Because I didn't actually pay attention to the last one. I think it was correct, but we will we'll see. Hey, who needs to double check things, right? Okay, maybe that's a little bit fast over the turning table. Yeah, that'll do nicely. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let, let's... She'll come in. Let's stop. And turn off. Now we're doing the repairs because saving costs, right? Okay, oil and some diesel. Good. Yeah, that's only 5k instead of the 10k they wanted of us. So, you know, that's definitely better. And you can stay where you are. Now you... Um, in there, and what I will do, what I would like to do anyways, you know, shut her down nicely. And I actually give her a proper... You know, you've done enough, old girl. Thank you. I'm very grateful for all you've done for us. 
it was it was an awesome service you've provided for us but we we, we are now moving on to <clears throat> yes better however before i can take better out i need to align better so it can actually go out no not not that one yes now this one works a little bit different so we have a break up uh, break board here basically right we have our start and our electrics then we have a big fuse for the traction motors okay and yeah you won't find a starter anywhere here okay y y you just won't for that you're gonna have to leave you're gonna have to open this door here and right there there's our starter right and then you've got a little well, throttle that you can use to basically throttle her up a bit and you know build brake pressure but we're quite okay the way she is except for here's the handbrake Okay, and that's all there is to know about the startup procedure. Now, lights are here for the inside. Your front lights are, you know, or your external lights are basically here. Here's your wiper. You have both brakes sitting, sitting here. So you've got the train brake and the independent brake here. Okay, the sander is here. Um, including the gauge for the sand. Here is your brake reservoirs, both of them. Here is your, well, engine speed, you know, the ripems, uh, traction motor temperature, the AMS coming out, and your speed. You also have your fuel and oil down here. You have a bell, I think, as for maneuvering and that sort of thing. Um, then, as I, let me sit actually come down further we then have the reverser here so we want forwards here's by the way your fuel cut off okay um, and here's the throttle this one actually gets pulled back towards you as to accelerate rather than pushed okay but yeah and as you hit the throttle bed actually goes into gear so you have to sort of account for that little delay I want to call it but there she is. There's our glorious D6. Let me just get that on the main track. And she is a big boy. She she's definitely a big boy. Well, big girl. Well, she boy. No, she's a girl. He's a boy. Apparently. Um, and you know, come to a stop here. And then, you know, we're going to do the turning table thing. And I will actually push her myself. Now, I'm sure that is not it correct. It's the next one. Okay. So, we shall now take you. Close the door, because you're a loud girl. I mean, I like my girls loud, but, you know. I uh, also brakes. And just carefully let's get on to the well near near the track and let's find something to do. Okay. And actually what I'll do we'll come to a stop here and let's go and find a job, right? Now I know the office is further back here. I did remember that. Yes, correctly. Right. Now, first off, we are here on the left. Right? Oh, I can probably even show it on this map even better. We are right there. Okay, let's... Oh, my goodness. There's two jobs. Well, there, there's a perfect job for us, right? 750 tons. Going to steel mill. Yeah, we, we know how to do that. But before I do that, it's on B4O. 
so let's look at the map we are actually pointing down already which is perfect we're going to go through city southwest oil well central farm into steel mill that, that's just going to be the run we're going to do right was it before oh it said right now i however don't know this yard all that well okay to the left of me So this is C, apparently, right? And then one over, this is B. Okay, here, here's here's our B yard. Uh, B40. I'm having a feeling it is three, four, it is U. Okay, perfect. And, you know, we're gonna do the manual switching here for a second because I like to do that. And then we'll come along. Ah. And basically, yeah, coming in there from the main track. So let me go and find my little, my little locomotive. Loosen the brakes. And go. Now, I should make you aware, by the way, for those that, you know, know a little bit about the game. Normally, you can't use... Um, <clears throat> You, 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 you can't use the remote with a D6, okay? However, I can because I have added a mod, which is a derailed valley utilities, and allows you the remote controller for the D6 if you enable it, which, you know, I did. And now where are we? <clears throat> Good, perfect, perfect, perfect. And basically just come to a stop here and turn it back. Like so. I can even do and use that. And then that's the thing with the D6. Like to navigate essentially you would yeah have to run it from out here. And I'm going to let it accelerate to six, uh, 20 and then let it coast and disable the thing. But yeah, well, I can do this. So pretty much the only way of doing it. Because she is that long and big. But boy, can she pull, I reckon. Now we'll, we'll see. Right, 700 tons. I mean, we know that the DH4s have struggled at times with that, that sort of weight. I mean, not struggled, struggled, but you know, it was hard work for them. Yeah, this is perfect. This should lead us right into B yard. I was feeling it a little bit fast there. And there is apparently our load right there. Yeah, gonna have to slow down quite a bit here. Oh my goodness. Because I don't want to break our new locomotive on the first day. Or, you know, on the first load. That'd be just nuts. This should be fine. Perfect. Okay. Let me... No. Close the door. And then what I would like to do is... Do this. Because it makes it easier for me. Then let me... Yes. We are here. Okay. And we're coming out and by now we know how this works right just all the way down this is this is a long run by the way um yeah getting joined there doom and here's that 
switch off and now we are heading into city southwest. Now this is a 30, this is an ugly son of a gun this turn. Alright, just to be aware. And yes, staying on the main line there. Uh, make sure we're passing through oil well central. Um, do the same with farm. I always hate lining through farm. Okay. That should be going straight through. And joins up with the main line. And then we're turning left into steel mill. Which reminds me. Let me actually quickly look uh, where, sorry, where we are supposed to take this. And I've coupled this already in, didn't I? <laughs> You're an idiot, Sebastian. You can't really do that. But it's fine. Should be okay. Uh, keep going. Where's the house? There is the thing. There is the job. And it's going to B3 in going. Well, it's fine. Click, click, give me. Thank you. And then we're basically good to go. Uh, except for... B3 B3 in going Sorry, I had to just go and pick up the drop quickly there, but we are Ding a ding ding. This is it Right. Oh wait, there's the joining uh, Going right going right into that track which is B3 incoming Okay Good. Uh, we are actually good to go now. However, I will take a quick break. Just, you know, nature calls and all that, and I, I need a break. So, yes, I will do that, and I will leave you running with the music.
And I am back, and we are basically good to go, right? So I'm gonna just set up for, I don't know, like a 40 or so to pull out of here. Oh no, wait, 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 just to check, just to check, because I keep forgetting that part, and I just don't know which one it is, right? It wasn't you, I, oh. So you didn't do the thing, why? I am confused by that remote, but it could be to do with the fact that it's not hooked. Well, it's hooked to a D6, right? And it's not officially supported, so. Go. Oh. Something like that. What is... Why so slow? Why are you going so careful here? Is that to do with the mass? Could be. Mm, I'm just going to observe the behavior here with the drive assist and see what happens. Oh, so you do do know how to pour on most beard. Oh, that's fine then. Jeez, loud, my goodness. <laughs> so, and I find, like, with the DE6, there's always this talk of visibility issue, and I find it's actually bearable when you stand up and just use the upper windows. That's what I normally tend to do. <laughs> Rather than trying to do it through here. But yeah, we, we can definitely pour someone pour on some speed here. That's it. Go on. And some speed here. Well, apparently 60 is enough here. But yeah, she she has no problem getting these things up to speed. <laughs> yeah, nice. This is what's been missing in my DE2 uh, in my uh, derail valley career, honestly. Back to 60, which is fine. And I think I'm gonna just let a coast at that. Ah, so much easier. Um, I'm almost tempted to also go for the slug. So, in case people are wondering, the slug is essentially, let me go and make it so I can see the map. The slug is essentially down here. It's just off of Harbour, Harbour Town. So that could be, you know, interesting to do, maybe? I don't know. I know I've seen the hundred. Let's see what you can do, yeah. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, she is pulling something fierce. This is awesome. Okay, it's limit is gonna drop soon enough, but come on, can you can you reach me the hundred before that happens? Or I mean, we're already at ninety, so I, I shouldn't complain, right? We're moving seven hundred tons of metal at. Yeah, 90 kilometers an hour. Oh my goodness, uh, oops. Oh, thanks by the way. I, I did see it, I just... Don't know. Uh, by the way, we, we did finish Titan Quest yesterday, right? Um, just thought I'd share that maybe with the people that watch our YouTube series. Or Ronnie's YouTube series. Uh, wait, no, 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 ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Just do the drop right now to 30, please. Oh my god, this is, uh, uh Maybe, 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 oh god, please, please. Oh gosh, this was... I hate City Southwest. I hate it. I mean, I know why they've done it. Just for that challenge alone, right? But holy schnitzel, it's... It's a skidded turn to approach with a lot of tonnage. Yeah, okay, we've, we've managed it. <laughs> and you say 90 there. Um, I think I can go to the 60 or so that you would normally recommend. Yeah. We're pretty much pulled out of that, I think. Even I can't see in the dark there. Don't worry. <laughs> it's not just you. Darker than a witch's teeth. Disable that and give it more beans because I want to. We'll see really the D6 pull here. Nice, and then we're gonna let it coast, I think, at that 50 because we're gonna have now Oil Well Central and then Farm, which are both 50 yards anyway, so. I'll just let her run. What is approaching there? Uh oh. Every time, every time when I hear that squeal, it's like, no, please, please, please don't. Oh my goodness. So you said 60 there, which means I'm going to go for my 50 that I normally aim for, right? At this juncture anyways. Yeah, no point going for A. I'm 
I'm quite happy to aim for that 60 if you can do it. Come on. I said, my pretty. Give me some of that precious, precious speed. Even though I can't see jack shit in this fog. Uh, it's fine. Yeah, 50 will do. I forgot that we're that close. Just the sights in this game. Every time it gets me. Okay, we're gonna just let, uh, leave our coasting at 50 for now. Although, ah, sod it. Give me the beans. Go on. Okay, 60 even. Fine, I'll preset it. Oh, she can pull something fierce. <laughs> I love it. Okay, fine. Oh yeah, this this is a bit hairy, this whole farm thing. And I can't see jack shit. Uh, hope for the best. Hopefully nothing appears in the fog. Should be fine ish. I really need to learn how to put an end of train lantern on. Nice. But I really, really like the fact that we've actually managed to progress, you know, through the D2 stage, having the DM3, binning a whole bunch of loads, losing a whole bunch of money, <laughs> and to actually have got this far, I love it. Progress has been made, in general. Yep, there's your 60 that I was hoping for. And then, well actually, I can see the lights already off steel mill. And B3 incoming is clear. Thank goodness. So, 50... Uh, actually, no, slow down and, like, we're literally here. My goodness. I do this all the time with these long loads.
and you need to come to a stop right now. Too far. Schnitzel. I think I'm too far. I don't know actually where it is. Oh, there's no signs here yet. Where is. Ah, D3I. Perfect, 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 perfect. perfect. Uh, okay, the break is on. We're gonna do this one manually because why not, right? And there we go. Oh, shit. I done that the wrong way around. Uh, it was meant to be that way. <laughs> shit. But, indeed, scrap metal delivered. And job finished. I don't know if in time or not. We'll see. Oh, yes. I love it. Making real progress here. Is there anything going to Harbour and Town? Yes, there is. Um... It's actually a, a, a veritable selection here. 700 tons, 200 meters. Um, now I know I can't put these two together, that'd be just too much, but I reckon we could take one of these and just take it down. I mean, why not, right? Uh, let's do repairs first. Oh yeah, he, he, he's got to be fun times. Trying to find all the switches in the dark. Yoo-hoo! I mean, we could do it on the map, but no. Where's the fun in that? Need to have really shitty conditions for this sort of thing, right? Um, <clears throat> yeah, a little bit weirded out that even though you're at the back of the train, by the way, I can use my keyboard controls to fully control the train. Like, I'm not actually in the cab. I find that a little weird, but it's it's a thing. And you can use it, right? Um, come on. I'm sure I just hit the brakes. Apparently I didn't. Okay, no, this is even better. That doesn't work. I'm actually... Okay. Because the driver assist is still there. If that makes sense. That, maybe it's that that's freaking me out. Well, not freaking, but weirding me out. I'll do, probably. Might as well make use of a drive assist for now. Because I, I don't know if we're lined in for the turn table or not. I have a feeling we may be. Which, yes. No. I could grief this fog. It is this one that I need to change. I I hope I've done the right thing here. Because I still can't see where I'm going. <laughs> yes, that looks correct. Ish. 
Nah. No, but the wrong direction. No, 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 no. Turn, turn around, turn around, turn around. Yeah, there's the service. Can just make out the blue bit there. My goodness. And as a matter of fact, don't. Just give me the thing. Um, yes. And just gently get in there. Daylight's coming, I think. Oh, my game is broken. <laughs> and it's burning itself up. <laughs> my goodness. I don't think I've ever seen it quite this bad. I don't even know where the thing is. Oh, right there. Okay, you need to stop. There's two of them. Why is there two of them? In any case, fuel cut off. No. I didn't know there was a cab fan here. <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay, the world is good. Okay, you, you have a fuel thing. Repair the damages. We didn't do anything to the body, I'm happy about that. We used a lot of oil apparently and quite a lot of diesel. It's actually not too bad. Nah, it's, it looked worse than I thought it would be. But yes, good, thank you. Now, what did I say we were going for? Harbour and town. Well, that, that, that means I need to turn you around. That's just what it means, right? Brake pressure should be fine. Click, click. Um, do like so, maybe, and then. Mm, I knew there was a reason why I had went here because I need to back turn back around again, basically. And yeah, this is fast enough. Oh my goodness. Uh, maybe a little bit fast, actually. That was... Come on. Okay, hold the train. Okay. No, none, none of the wheels spin. No, sorry about that. That was a bit harsh. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to even fit her, but I imagine she fits. 
right? I imagine this was built so that you can fit a D6 onto these. Right, that is my hope anyways. We shall see. No oh, other way. I I'd like to see where I'm going, so let's turn this way. <clears throat> Good. Perfect. And as we're still reversing... So another DE6 I'm seeing there, and also D2, and so is that. Okay. I was just thinking that maybe they had given me another one. <laughs> uh, also, too fast. Way, way, way fast. Well, well, well. Yay with the weather, right? I mean. Wow. Yep. It's it's a sea of white. Uh this is not the thing. So actually I, I can I can close the door and come along and let me get pushed through. <clears throat> so the first thing I would do is set up uh, something like this I get out this wait for it to uh, make a click and then click and say change direction and also I will probably need to swap another one like that guy I think this is it. Okay, good, 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 good. I like. <laughs> yeah, and that looks like a valid pass through. And we're well, just gonna let her do it. Um, I could probably change these lights over. Yep, uh, turn you one down because it's daylight. There's no point in full bright. Come on, come on. And then I'm going to just let her go past all these switches essentially and set her to stop and then get my job. As in, this will do nicely. Come to halt, please. Ah, shoot. That was a little bit janky. But I apparently got away with it. Right, this is going to be a stupid amount of jumping, but here we go. Oh. Where is the job? Uh, it was, I think it was this one I wanted. Right, so we're going to go and take that one from B to O. Okay, I understand. It is you. Uh, 
Yes, that's correct. And that one needs to then go and get changed over. And that is it. Take the locomotive, turn it around, loosen all the brakes, and go. Um, yeah, this is our friend here. Oh my goodness, okay, it's already at 30. <laughs> Good grief, this locomotive really doesn't muck about. As in, oh my goodness, it doesn't muck about at all. Jeez, so. Oh. When she's coming, running towards us, she's coming. Right, I should be fine just doing like so, and... We should be coupled now. Yes. Looking good. Making sure now that... Yeah, that. Because why wouldn't it be, right? And just to double check and triple check, because why not? I would like to avoid all the damages. Yes. Okay, let's set up a quick run into Harvan Town, which means I would like to know where we're going. Okay. We all there? Yes, we are. Good. We are right here, so we're gonna come out, we're gonna go left and again now this is essentially a milk run for us but i want to be down there because of the slug um yes that looks all good uh-huh 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 uh wait now i get this confused yes have on town that's correct uh, into the harbor and town. I don't know where G is. G is, I think, over here somewhere. Yes, G5I. So click, click, line it in, and basically through, like so. And that's it. Right, so what I'm going to do now is put my map onto sort of G track and F so I can see what's happening as we pull into Harbon Town, right? Let me bring you back. We are good to go and, you know, 50 forwards. And as a matter of fact, we're not even going to do that. We're just going to release all the brakes. And we're going to say forwards, yes. I have a start pulling. And start to get some some of the beans on here. Uh, I did see a little bit of wheel spin there. But yeah, we're making speed. Like she's got no problem. Nice. I'm gonna set the speed up limits up still as they are changed. So I just need to hit the right control on my keyboard and it will actually enforce those limits f through the drive assist. Come on. Come on the DE6. I want to see some real movement here. And, you know, she is pulling uphill right now, so. But she's still gaining speed on that. 
So that's good. Actually losing speed here, and interesting. But let's use drive assist <coughs> since we have it. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about that 19. At least the weather's clear up, right? Hmm. Yeah, again, that's a lot of metal that we're moving here. Done this run often enough so I know I can leave the train running at certain speeds somewhere. <laughs> she also runs a lot quieter, I feel. Nah, we're just gonna leave it on the 60. see maybe what I mean like I, I tend to just use these upper windows and you can see quite far where your speed limits are and, and you just react to it and that works whether you've got drive assist or not because you still got your keyboard you know to actually set up your train you don't need to actually do it on the manual controls except for in the VR that, that's gotta be different but I wouldn't know again I would need to check that first and play it. But good grief, the hardware costs. Nah. Another train in the way, of course. Are we actually gaining speed? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, okay, this this is actually quite scary at 100, or sorry, not even 100, what's that, 70, nearly 80 now? Uh, this takes on a quite different dimension, actually, in that case. Because beforehand, we'd always had the problem, you know, to get to a certain speed and just sort of maintaining that and letting her run and now it's a matter of uh oh this feels a bit fast uh, are we sure this is correct but yeah yeah this this is uh, this is actually a, a run I quite like for this sort of testing <clears throat> It tells you a lot about uh, how the locomotive handles, you know, there's sort of uphill coming out of steel mill and coming around here. And then also how it reacts to the braking. Well, that was 70, that was correct.
have a feeling it's going to drop soon again, if I remember right. <clears throat> So that's 60, yep. Yeah. That's fine. Now, I know this is fine on 60, so we're gonna just leave it running. Goodness, here's my 40. Here's, here's the thing I always been at. Well, not always been at. Where I've been at the very first time and every time pre prior to that. Like my first stream. And to be fair, I was still getting used to the game and the mechanics, and it was all very scary. Landed all down there in the river, actually. <laughs> okay, so come up to there, maybe. Where are we? Ah, uh, yeah, we still have a while to go, <clears throat> so you know, regain some of that speed, maybe. True, it's it's seventy, but I feel the sixty is fine. Okay, 50, <clears throat> oh, which is perfect because we had just reached that. Mm. Okay, that's fine. Now you see 60, but we've got a bit of train still behind us, so let's just chill on that for a second, huh? Let me let me go through. Thank you. And of course. And then because it's all going downhill. Yeah, we're just gonna have to let a coast here. Well, not even so much coasting, there's actually a lot of braking involved here, because we're getting pushed. Yeah, so I was going to straighten out again, onto the bridge. We're going to tell something like 60, 70, and then it's going to drop right back down to 40 afterwards. So, you know. Or even 80, my goodness. Do it carefully, I can get a little bit of speed in here before we have to go and break again. Because <clears throat> that bend right there ahead of us is actually a 40, so. Mm, now would probably be a good time to try and slow down to that. Please. Oh god, oh god, please, 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 please. Okay, I can see our track is clear. That's good, thank you. And yeah, we're just gonna let her run here into Harbin Town, our usual little run. 
and she'll say 60 here and then right down there is uh, back to 4 so you know we'll just we'll leave it be I think instead of getting the slug today, I think I'm gonna call it for today and then we're gonna do that for next time. We're gonna pick up the slug because we're literally just right there and then go and pick up our first big load with that and see how that goes. I think that's a good sort of ending point for today. We've done a lot, we've finally unlocked the D6. This is all I was really wanting for in life, right? And we've done multiple hundred t uh, uh, well multiple hundred tons of loads and yeah hope everyone had a good time so far I mean I enjoy this I, I enjoy these streams I enjoy this game so yeah it's just meant to be a chill experience I'm not here to be providing a in-depth simulation experience and all that no we're just here to watch trains and yeah, so 40 is was in this yard, no, not 50, Sebastian. Try and remember that for the future. Harbour Town is a 40, not a 50. I, I, I always live under this delusion of, oh, I think I can go 50 here. But I mean, this is a lot of training. At least mass-wise. Ah, uh, cheers for that, Buckley. So, but we're nearly there. We're basically now... <clears throat> it's not this turn-off. That would be into D yard. It's the next turn-off. That takes us down into... What's that? Um, F and D yard. Oh, no. Actually, no. This, this is actually the turn-off. Because D yard is over here. But we're actually going left. Yes. I I get that mixed up sometimes. And then what I shall do, you know the usual, get to the end of the train. Where is it? Ah. And yeah, wait until we are... My goodness, we are moving faster this yard. It's actually quite scary. Considering what we're transporting, like uh, just pure mass of metal, uh, I still try and need to stop at some point soon. Um, but you know, we can see where the sign is for the actual track that we need. And I think I will go and say decelerate, please. And then I will say, please. Stop. No, no, no. As long as the thing is not over, we're fine. This is fine, right? Yes, this is fine. Um, so first off, we, you know, do the handbrake thing. Okay. And then... Wait, get this right now. Clothing this one, you're ripping this off and you're ripping that off. And then last but not least, we shall go and no. Leave you on for now. Let's let's hand the job in and do the repair after. I think that would be the smart thing to do, and we did it in time. Hoorah! Yay! Very happy with that, actually. And we are right here. So all I need to do is just basically pull forward and find another yard and push back. Um, break. Go. 
Uh, oop. Wrong key. And I think I can just actually push through this one on our side. Okay. So let me actually go and... Yeah, like so. No, you, you want to be pa facing in this way. And... You want to be facing that way. Breakage. And do this and do that and... Go. <coughs> I think this is correct. Speed says 56. Uh, no, I, I push all the wrong buttons. Sorry. <clears throat> yeah, okay. 56 may be a little bit fast, but we'll see in a second, right? Um, okay, sweet. This should just take us right out. So happy to have actually unlocked this today. Cannot believe how long I've waited for that. <laughs> I mean, this safe game has been created in July, so you know that gives you maybe an idea. So that's when I started this stream series. Well, it was on YouTube, but you know, <laughs> which is, by the way, where the uh, the vod of this will also go. So you can always watch in the past, uh, sorry, in the future, what I've done in the past. I can English, honestly. And I'm just going to jump off the moving train, because why wouldn't I, right? So this looks like a good track, and it looks clean. Good. There you go. Oh, yeah, moving still. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, whoopsie doopsie. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. A uh, forwards now, apparently. <clears throat> and find the bay which is this guy and maybe enough speed there she comes yeah do those repairs and then we'll call we'll call it for today i i think that's a good shout um, huge shout out to, you know, my new followers, um, was it today, we've got Bjarne Nielsen, who started me, uh, following me today, so, so thanks for that. Uh, huge shout out also to my Patreons, Buckley and Woody, who steadfast support me in my efforts and the servers that being, uh, it's being used, well, not at the moment, but you know, all those things, um, go and check out, um, his channel, if he's went and shield himself, which I don't think he has, but you know, I, I can do that for him. And then we've also got my wife's channel on YouTube, who basically, yeah, does a different gameplay. And we've just finished Titan Quest. That was, and that's only the main storyline we've done, actually. Yeah, it wasn't even so much that we'd finished the, all the DLC that came with it. It was like, nope. We've we've spent enough time. <laughs> um, let me turn this guy off. I said off. And then what I like to do here is turn this brake off, but instead use the big wheel. Okay. 
then we're gonna grab you. And yeah, well, if I forgot any shout outs, then forgive me. I think I've done them, the ones that I wanted to. So yeah, go and check out those channels out. Um, leave them a like, a subscribe if it's on YouTube or a follow if it's on Twitch, you know, all that good stuff. And only 5k, so that's, that's really not bad, right? And we're already back at 106k, like, now 101k, but you know, I'm, I'm happy with that. Right, we've, we've made really good progress when we're making the money fairly straight, uh, fairly quickly back again. So it's all good. Now, I would like to. I feel like I can't leave her behind like that, you know, just all switched on and all lit up. So this is what we'll do. We'll nicely and gently shut her down. Shut her down. Shut it all down. Right. I think this is good for today. Let me, you know, say thank you once again. You guys are awesome. This wouldn't be possible without any of you. Um, yeah. Look out for each other and yourselves. Enjoy your night or your day, whatever it may be. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> yes, indeed. Bye and peace out.